Hey guys, what's up? Dark World 107 here. Uh, making another video today. Uh, this one is going to be my Evil Czar, Evil Soar, Evil Tile deck profile. Don't know really what to call it yet. Probably going to call it Evil Czar. That's the Exceed names, and they're like the best. And uh, so, yeah, making all these dinosaur decks because I really like the. Uh, Dalka and Lagia Exceeds, um, they're really good, really like them a lot, so thought I'd go ahead and try out the actual Evil Sword deck for them instead of just Dino Rabbit. Um, so far the deck is really early stages of development for me, um, haven't really gotten to test it that much except on Dueling Network. Uh, so this deck build is not as solid as I want it to be right now, it is... So is uh can be subject to change like it can change around a little bit and if it does I'll uh make an updated profile of it if not then uh I'll stick with this and yeah so I believe this build is pretty solid the way I have it right now but you know you never know what I might find that I like better so Obviously, deck's exactly 40, so I'll just get started. So, around 3, Evil Sora Serato. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, wait till it focuses. There we go. So, 3 Evil Sora Serato. This guy is the 1900 beater of the deck. Uh, you don't really want to draw into any of the Evil Sars in the deck, so. Uh, yeah. When he's summoned by Evil Soar effect, he gains 200 attack, and when he destroys monster by battle, you can search out an evil tile monster from your deck and put it in your hand. So, really, the all around best uh, Evil Soar in the deck. Really good. Uh, next, round three, Volcano. Uh, this guy is comparable to Darius from Gladiator Beasts. Um, so, when he's special summoned by your. Evil tile effect, uh, you can special summon, uh, let's see, just special summon an evil sword monster from your grave, which is himself, well, not himself, uh, another volcano, a serato, or the other evil sword run, so he's really good for instant level rank, rank 4 exceed. And the last evil swords I run are two, evil sword diplo, um, this is comparable to uh, Gladiator Beast Bestiari when he's summoned by a, this guy. When he's summoned by a evil tile uh, monster, he you can blow up on your opponent's back row. So yeah, he's really good for setting up to get out a uh, exceed and just clearing your way to make your big plays. I guess if you want to say it. So those are all the evil swords are on. There's, uh, let's see, eight evil swords. You don't really want to draw into these. You want to draw into the evil tiles and get these out of your deck with their effects. But you're obviously going to draw into these a lot, and that's okay. If you, Like Serato, he's not that bad because he's a 1900 beater. But the other two, you probably want to stay away from wanting to draw those. And next I run three of the evil tile west, though. He is, um, he used to be the main and only evil tile you really wanted to get out the other evil sores. Uh, what he is, he's a 1900 defense wall. When he's flipped face up, you can start summon a evil sore from your deck. So, yeah, that's one of the easiest ways to get your, uh, that is the easiest way to get your, uh, evil sores special summoned. And when they're supposed to summon by them, they gain uh, their effects. Then for the other evil tiles, I run three. Najasho. Um, he is probably the best if you can get the combo with him right. Um, him and evil force, you can get out. If you have the right setup, two um, Dalkas, two Lagis, or a Lagi and a Dalka out and just by using him and evil force. 
Uh, what he does is when he's tributed, you can special summon an evil sword monster from your deck. So, yeah, there's a lot of tribute power in this deck that you can allow that to happen. So, yeah, those are the evil tiles I use. Only six, and it's that's really all you need. And to finish off the monsters, I run two effect valors because effect valors are amazing. Uh, that's it for the monsters. I run, let's see how many. I said eight evil sores, six, 14, 16 monsters. So, yeah. Next, the spells I run three evil, evil force. This is this and Joshua single handedly made the whole evil sword evil deck broken. Um, this and Joshua together is probably your best play in the deck. Just because uh, this card tributes an evil tile to special summon evil star from your deck, and when an evil star is special summoned by this, it gains its effect as it was special summoned by an evil tile. And when you tribute Najash for this card, you also get Najash's effect to special summon evil star, so you can get two evil stars from your deck like that. Then go into a rank four, or if you have two evil stars in your grave. Later in the game, you can go two volcanoes, get those two evil swords from your grave, and go into two exceeds just by that play. So, really fantastic play. If it if it your opponent doesn't have a response and you let it go off, you pretty much pretty much game because you have two Lagias, Lagia and Dalka, and that's just gonna be able to stop whatever they do next. So yeah, really good. Need three of those. Next, uh, we have three enemy controllers. Uh, this card just gets better and better the more you think about how it can be playing in the deck. Um, very versatile because it has two effects. You can either tribute your guy and take their monster or change one face-up monster your opponent controls battle position. So it can protect your guys that are getting attacked and it can you contribute your Najasho to steal their level 4 go into Utopia or steal their Utopia and put your Utopia right onto it so you keep it forever. And it's just awesome, awesome card in the deck. I wouldn't recommend running any less than three. Uh, two, Smashing Grounds. Oh uh, yeah, testing these and Forbidden Lands in here, so Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards the Smashing Grounds in this deck over the Forbidden Lances because Lances in my Dino Rabbit deck just has have more possibilities to use with it. Uh, Smashing Ground is a lot better, in my opinion, right now from playtesting because of this deck's incapability of being able, able, not being able to get over high attack monsters over 2400 attack. And um, uh, Spirit Reaper and Marshmallow. So this pretty much gets rid of those uh, threats against the deck, which are really the things that hurt the deck the most. Uh, then two Pot of Duality. Obvious. Two MSTs. Uh, MSTs, they set up your big plays, just like Diplos. Pot Avarice, Book of Moon, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Monster Born. Uh, all these basic Pot Avarice, just very essential to get those evil swords back in your deck so you can keep going off with your plays. Um, so that's it for the spells. I run mm, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <sighs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 spells. So then I run traps, two dimensional prism. Cards too good not to run. Uh, protects your Lagias and Dalkas and Najasho if you want to, if they can get over the 2000 defense on Najasho. And you want to keep it alive so you can tribute it later. So really good in the deck. I actually had three in there, but I took uh, D Prison out and uh, Evil Tile Casanera to put in 
two compulsories because I realize this card is amazing. Um, let's see, not really much you can say about it just because summon a exceed, bounce it back, gets over Zen mains, uh, has the possibility of stopping a uh, wind up loop, not really, doesn't really stop it. Uh, Insectors, this is good against Insectors because if you have just D-Prisons D down, they'll just pop those. Compulsory can stop that whole shenanigans and whatnot. Then, basic Solemn Brigade. Uh, I would like to run more traps, but the, the spells in this deck really just take up so much room, like all of these. But yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to find more room after testing to put in like a torrential and a mirror force uh because i really like having those in there so yeah that's it for the deck guys um i'm gonna go on to the extra deck now even though it's the same exact extra deck i use for dino rabbit just because you don't need to change it between the two um gorse token two dalkas three lagias Two Utopias, two Utopia Rays, just for s snatching your opponent's Utopias with enemy controllers and putting your Utopias on it. Zen Mains, because you actually have the possibility in this deck. Stardust, Taster, Colossal, Guy Knight, and E Hero Mudball Man. Just because you have the option to econ your opponents tuners and go into these guys other than that no really crucial reason to have them there all you need is ex exceeds what is this out of order so yeah that is it for the deck not even going to go into the side deck because i have no idea how to make a side deck for this yet uh, i haven't played it enough yet to know its extreme weaknesses so I'll have that in my next deck profile of this. So thanks for watching in this video, guys. Um, hope the explanations helped. And hope you can make your evil sword deck good. Now knowing what they do and whatnot. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. I'm going to try to have a video up every day this week just because I've been slacking a lot lately. Haven't been frequently uploading so i'm gonna have a video up every day this week not on all deck profiles and trade binder videos but some new stuff hopefully you guys will like so yeah thanks for watching guys and see you later